Hi, I'm Brian Fairbrother, I'm the handicap chairman at Denson Golf Club. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I actually did a video uh, based around the additional features of the My EG, My England Golf app. Um, and at the time, there was some elements missing. So this is really a revised version because um, the app has actually been updated uh, last night. And so today it's the 28th of May, and this is the latest version of the MyEG app. I'm basically just going to run through um, all of the other features. So uh, like I say, it is a revised version, and um, I don't mind doing these for certain members at Denson, but I do know that they've been useful because I've had comments from members of other golf clubs. So um, I hope everyone finds it useful. So the important thing um, about the MyEG app is always remember to log off it. And the fact that I'm having to re-record this proves that with when you up, you need to be updating it and making sure you update, and then you get your very, very latest version of it. Um, so what we're going to do, uh, we're going to fire it up, and I'm going to put my CDH in. If you don't know your CDH, um, contact uh, myself or Steve Glenwright or even the Pro Shop be able to tell you. For members of other clubs, I'm sure you may already know your CDH or your handicap chairman can provide you with it. So you need a CDH uh, if you haven't already got the app uh, to actually register into it. And now I'm going to put my password in, which you can't see due to Apple security. And just to be aware, I'm recording this uh, in landscape on an iPad, so the Android version might be just slightly different. And now we can see the dashboard. Um, and the important thing about the dashboard, you can see all my scores there uh, with, the, with the green against them. The first thing is some people say is, well... Um, I can't understand it. Uh, where are all my scores? I've only got like five scores in and I've only got two discs against them. Well, the first thing is, is that one of the things about the WHS is that even if you've got eight scores and they don't all count, eight scores, you will only have two of them being shown. And it's as you build up that more and more of your scores count till you get to the 20. The other thing is people talk about, um, well, I've got an 85, four, four in, it's not counting, but an 85 does. And the reason being is WHS works on score differential. That's the column to look at. That shows how low your score was that day when everything's taken into account, such as course rating and the slope that you played off. So just remember, it's score differentials that are, are the figure and that's when you'll see that, um, that each one is actually counting. And you have to extrapolate backwards and you start off with your gross score, you take the course rating off it, um, you uh, divide it by the slope and you times it by 113 and you'll get the figure in the score differential. So just try and remember that. Um, it's not important though although it is if people want to see why scores are, are, are not being counted but you don't have to do the maths just purely looking at the score differential column and that gives the true true rating so one of the things we're going to look at now is the additional features and the additional feature that was not in the previous version of this app was actually what is known as the um, PCC, the Playing Conditions Calculation. So if we click on one of the scores, and all of a sudden you'll see there's this new column come up, and it shows all the scores, um, but if you look in the right-hand side, it shows white, score differential, and playing conditions as zero. Now, in the rounds I've played uh, since I've been back at Denton playing, since my hip replacement, basically I've played horrendous. Um, and I'm not embarrassed to show people my scores. And um, you'll see also in this column, you can see the hole number seven, you can see my adjusted score, uh, which is adjusted down for handicap purposes to a net double bogey. 
Um, so, as you can see now, this is the extra information that some people have been asking for all the time. When does it appear? Well, it appears the following day because it takes into account all the playing conditions calculation takes into account all the competition scores played that day, but also the casual rounds. So if we just click back um, to myself again, um, you probably see that um, at the moment the, the scores that I've got in um, are basically horrendous. Now we're going to talk about friends. So friends is important because not only does it allow you to have uh, see all your friends, but you can actually actually see uh, what they're doing um, from a score point of view. Um, so if you look at, um, uh, I've just clicked on Steve Glenwright. These are Steve's scores. And if we scroll down to one of Steve's scores on the 25th of April, one of his counting scores, you'll see how PCC is actually in action. So if I just click on, uh, on Steve's score, on the, uh, and then all of a sudden, you'll see all his scores there. But if you notice in the right-hand column, that day, PCC went up by one shot. At Denton, we've not experienced PCC going down, which means, of course, it's playing easier. We've only ever seen it go up, and we've seen it go up as high as three shots. So that can show how PCC, and if the PCC goes up, you're obviously performing better against your handicap. Uh, it always goes up in full shots. So that's friends, and that's the benefit of having friends. Now, how do we get a new friend? Well, we always search in the player name at the top, and we always search on their second name. I'm going to put in a, a chap I play with sometimes, and he's called Matt Heat, very good player. So I'm going to type his name in. And as you can see, as I type his name in, what happens, um, system looks, and there's Matt, he's a four handicapper, and if I click on the uh, little blue symbol, I can add him to a friend, and what will happen, Matt will get a message within the MyEG to uh, accept or reject uh, my friend request. So that's it, that's friends, that's how we do friends, um, and like I say, you, you just add them or accept them as they go. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is messages. Um, so, you get messages um, when you've got an add or accept friend request, and I'm on messages there, and there's one of my friends, Steve Kenyon, from another club, um, plays at Duckingfield, actually, and I've already accepted that request uh, as a friend, but what's also in here are the messages from when you are an attestor for the casual scores. So if you've played with someone and they've put you down as an attestor for a casual score, in other words, a playing partner that day or in the group, well, you'll be able to accept or reject. If anyone ever gets one of these messages from someone who you've not even actually ever played with, the first thing you've got to query is why they've put you down. It might be a genuine mistake, but certainly you should never accept a request to, um, uh, to accept a, a casual score if you've never ever played with them. It's a legal use of the app and it's effectively uh, handicap manipulation. So let's talk about some other features. Well, we can do edit profile in the more, so we click on the more button, we've got edit profile, change password. But everyone talks about, oh, this, uh, this WHS system, it's really complicated, you never know what I'm doing with it or anything. But it's not. If you click on WHS course handicap calculator, well, what happens is it brings up another panel and what you can do, you can actually look for the course you're playing on that day. So all the courses come up which are reasonably local to me, but I'm going to put in uh, Denton, which is obviously where I play at. 
Um, and even that, I know what's going on. If I put Denson in, once again, um, you search, you click on Denson, and now straight away what's going to happen is it's going to show me the, uh, the handicap index I have, what the course rating is, if we look at the whites or the yellows, but it also shows me my course handicap. That's how many shots I get that day on that course. Now that's the starter because depending on competitions, I could be playing in an 85% allowance team competition. But the fact is, is it's not difficult to know what you're playing off at any time with WHS. It's simple. Um, now, so what happens if we go to another course? Well, what we can do is once again, uh, we can come out of this uh, by uh, pre press and cancel. And the next thing we can do, we can go into the, I'm uh, gonna go back into the search box. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to now um, search on another course that I may be playing at in, um, I don't know, in, a, in an open or something like that. And what I want to know is I want to turn up and know exactly what I'm going to be doing. Now, don't forget, as your handicap index changes, this is a great way to be looking all the time. So I'm going to look at Romley. I'm just going to click on Romley. And straight away up comes Romley and I've got white, yellow, even a rating at Romley for men playing off the reds. Um, but as you can see, once again on the right hand side, course handicap, there it is, that's the shots I'm getting at Romley. So the WHS isn't complicated. You don't have to know all the slopes, you don't have to detail. All you want to know for most golfers is what I'm playing off. Um, so that's it. It's, um, it's simple. Um, you can do it and search any course. Why would a course not be in here? It wouldn't be in here if for any chance it's not a ratified course or if it's being reassessed. So that's it. Those are the features of current features of the MyEG. I recorded this on the 28th of May. Things will obviously be always be changing. So enjoy your golf, folks, and stick with it.